First Chronicles 18, 9 through 11 says, Now when the king of Hamath had heard that David had defeated the army of Hadadesser, king of Zobah, he sent to Hadoram, his son, to the king David, to greet him and to bless him, because he had fought against Hadadesser, and he had defeated him, for Hadadesser had been at war with two. And Hadoram brought all kinds of articles of gold and silver and bronze, and King David also dedicated these to the Lord with the silver and the gold which he had carried away from all the nations, from Edom, from Moab, from the sons of Ammon, from the Philistines, and from the Amalek. Now, if you're joining us in reading through this 90-day reading plan, today's reading is 1 Chronicles 18, and I encourage you to read that passage. Now, you might remember in Genesis 14, 17 through 23, that Abraham refused to take any of the gold or silver that the kings who he defeated, but he did give 10% to Melchizedek at the same time. What we read in today's passage is very similar and should be something that we should think about in incorporating into our lives. Now, real honestly, I doubt if any one of you is going to read or hear this devotion is going to be in a place where David or Abraham were. But the application can remain the same. There are times when we will receive gifts that we feel we do not deserve or do not want. But rather than be offensive, we might want to consider giving those gifts to God. I know this sounds counterintuitive, but if we receive something from God and do not have an expressed reason for having it, then by giving it back to Him, we're showing our desire to serve Him. Now, please don't think this is an every-time occurrence. We must be seeking God's will and how we are going to use these things which God gives us. But if there's not a specific use, then we might consider the fact that possibly God gave it to us to pass it on to someone else. And our walk with Christ can be a very dynamic one. Our walk with Christ needs to be sensitive to that which God is doing in our lives. We must not become hardened by thinking that we know His will. We must always be seeking by it by being repentant, by changing our minds, focusing on Him so that we might glorify Him in everything that we do.